You murdered me, you bitch. Oh, get over it. You pissed me off. God. Morning, sweetheart. Do I know you? Honey, what are you talking about? Are you okay? I'm your mom. No, you're not. I've never met you before. You've literally seen me every day of your life. Where am I? This is not a funny joke anymore. I'm not kidding. Whatever. We need to get to school. You're going to be late. Okay. Wait, bestie, where are you going? You always sit next to me. I don't know you. Sorry. Bitch, what? I'm your best friend. Doesn't ring a bell. Ryan, you need to check on your girlfriend. Something is wrong with her. Hey, babe, how are you? Babe? Yeah, I uh, always call you babe. You're my girlfriend. You're my boyfriend? But we're in love. You don't remember me? No. What happened to that party? What party? The one you apparently lost your memory at. Oh, Mom, do you think you could make me some pancakes? I'm so hungry. Bailey, can you please come downstairs? Hello? I am right in front of you. Bailey, your breakfast is going to get cold. So you're just going to give me the silent treatment like I'm five? Rose, have you seen your sister? Uh, no. Sis, can you tell mom that I'm literally right here? Huh? Maybe she went to work early this morning. What is going on? Hello? I'll just try to call her. They can't see me. Whatever, I'm just going to go to work. Guys, please tell me I'm not a cashier today. I can't do it. Has anyone seen Bailey? She's supposed to be here. It's everyone? What am I supposed to do? This is my only way to make money. I am literally dirt poor. You're not the only one going through this. You can see me? Yep, and nobody else can see me except you. Okay, I'm confused. I think I know what's going on. Follow me. Okay. Dude, what is that noise? I have no idea. May I have your attention, everyone? The annual purge is beginning now. All crime will be legal for 24 hours continuously. All medical and police services will be unavailable. I wish you all good luck and have a great time during the annual purge. This is just a big joke, right? I mean, it's the plot of that movie. It must be. Halloween's coming up super soon. This message was provided by your government. I don't think it's a joke. Shut all the windows and lock all doors. This cannot be happening. It's real. What are we supposed to do? I don't know. Oh, Bailey, won't you come downstairs for us? Okay, the rumor can't be that bad. I feel like everyone likes me. What? I think I'm hallucinating. Who said that? I'm going to find out who said that about me, and I'm going to... No. Mm. Fuck you! Ugh. Holy... Stacy, what is going on here? Everyone's fighting because of the rumors that were released today. Oh. They're all just blaming each other and then fighting about it. I mean, that's fair. Have you seen mine? Okay, but, like, yours is true. What are you talking about? You were definitely the reason that they broke up. No, I wasn't. I barely even spoke to him. Yeah, but he liked you more. He what? That's why she doesn't talk to you anymore. She saw his text messages. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. You ho! Ow! You're such a bitch, why would you say that about me? Excuse you? Yeah, so that's how my cat ended up falling out the window. Bailey, hello? Bailey! Bailey! Huh? Oh, sorry. What are you even writing in there? I just like to write down my thoughts. What thoughts? That is such a stupid thing to do. Mind your business. Can I read it? No. Oh, uh, what? Why not? It's private. Give it. Hey! I wish Justin would like me back. Aw, that's cute. Give it back. That's not funny. Well, I think it's funny. He would never like you. Whatever. Um, hello? Bailey, hey, it's Justin. Uh, nice to talk to you. How did you get my number? I had to beg your sister by doing her homework. Are you pranking me? No, I just really like you. Will you go out with me? Sure. Wait, that was what I just wrote in my journal. Bitch, are you magical? Hey, I heard that you and Nathan broke up. Yeah, we did. 
I'm so sorry. I know you loved him. I'm sure it was for the best. Hopefully he doesn't give you a bad label. <laughs> I'm sure he would never put anything bad. Okay, seems like you have pretty high hopes. <laughs> What's up, crazy? What did you just call me? I called you crazy. What would make you think that I'm crazy? <laughs> Your label, duh. How long has that been there? <laughs> long enough for everyone to see it. I can't believe you thought that Nathan really liked you. He never did. Have you gone on to Twitter at all today? What? Nathan's already dating Sarah. He told me not to worry about her. That's what they all say. Everyone careful not to get too close to her. She's crazy. Can you guys stop? Girls are always labeled as crazy, even if they're not. I'm gonna be doing my makeup except in alphabetical order. I had to write it down because my three brain cells were not working. Which means we're starting with blush. It just fell out. <laughs> oh, cute! Next up is bronzer. I have never looked crazier in my whole life. Time to conceal. <laughs> I hope this fixes it because I look like Larry the Lobster right now. Now to contour. All before foundation. I had a doctor's appointment right now and I forgot. Anyway, it's time for eyebrows. Next up is eyeliner. I can't talk while I do this. Now we put eyeshadow over top of it. Finally, I get to do foundation. This feels so wrong. I am so orange. Just gonna put a highlight on this wet foundation. Next is lip gloss. <laughs> lip liner. It's not even really working. This is not looking good so far. Now we're just gonna do some powder blush. Now I have to put primer over all of this. Ah. I'm hoping this setting powder is gonna fix all the mistakes we've made today. At least setting spray is in the right place. Mm. This is the final product of doing my makeup in alphabetical order. Let me know how you think I did. I admit it's exciting, but to me gonna like it But before I leave you on, tell me what's your motive Oh yeah Um, okay, it's a little early for that, but no judgment Oh, I did not need to know that Oh, okay, ooh, now I have an image in my- uh. Better not be my school Hey guys. Hey, are you okay? No, my soulmate is so weird. Uh, okay, what did he do? You don't wanna know. Dude, take a fucking break. What is it now? Uh, Bailey. Whoa, hey, what's wrong with you? I need to tell you something. Um, what do you have to tell me? I've been holding this back for a while, but I have feelings for you. Uh, no you don't. <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, I do. I like you. You don't like me. No, no. No. <laughs> Bro, yes, mm -mm. I do. I can't believe you don't like me. No, don't cry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. No, it's too late now. <laughs> Happy 18th, honey. Thanks. Here you go. What's this? That's your heart. This is just a piece of paper. Yeah, but it represents your heart. Huh? Every time someone hurts you after a relationship, you lose a piece of the paper, which is your heart. What happens if I run out of paper? You can never fall in love again. <gasps> Be careful with it. I will, I promise. Lucas! Hey! I want to give you this. Your heart? But why? I've always had a crush on you. I'm sorry, I don't like you as more than a friend. Here's your paper. Sorry about the corner. Hey! What's up, babe? We should go our separate ways. What? I'm just not in love with you anymore. I'm sorry. No! Oh, I got it. Don't worry. You can't lose this. Thanks. Our strings just connected. Does that mean we're soulmates? <laughs> Looks like it. Really? I'm so glad you found me. Yeah. You are not being soulmates with that fucking loser. Come on, bro. Let's go. Right now. Oh. What are you doing? I said stay away. I'm not trying to go with you. I got pulled when he moved. What do you mean? Once you're that close to your soulmate, the string can't get any further apart. What? The only way to get rid of the string is to share a kiss. We have to kiss? Exactly. Or you just have to follow him like you're on a leash forever. A kiss doesn't sound too bad. You're not kissing her. She is so disgusting. I'm Dylan, by the way. Oh, I'm... La 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 What the hell is your problem? Can you stop? No, I don't want him to have a soulmate. Why? Because he always gets everything and I don't want him to fall in love.
So the other day I got four new tattoos on my arm and this time we actually put the fucking cling wrap on them Which means I get to take it off This might be an ASMR experience this One on the guitar is already coming off. So I think we're gonna start here. Oh, oh, I'm dramatic. It's fine. Is it? Oh no, it's connected. This one hurts a lot because it was shaded and I'm kind of afraid. Oh no. The Why am I doing it so slow? Let's get a real up close shot. Shake it off. Shake it off. Okay. This one over here is also just getting crusty. Ooh, the arm crack. Done. Oh, this is the last one. I'm gonna try to do this one in just like one full swoop. Come on. Come on. Hell yeah, I did it. I need to wash these off because my arm feels so incredibly crusty. I hope you guys enjoyed my misery. <laughs> Why don't you want me to make a guess? Uh, I don't know. I just don't. Whatever. It's one letter. No, don't. Hey. Oh, there is one in her name. Right, uh, right where yours is, Bailey. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. You don't know anything about your soulmate, right? Nope. Okay, then why are you acting all stressed out? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm perfectly relaxed. Really? Your face tells me otherwise. Is there a reason why you wasted your guesses? I did not waste my guesses. Well, who do you know that has an X in their name? Well, maybe my soulmate did. Okay, well, he didn't, so... You're being so weird. What's up? I'm not. I'm literally fine. Fine is never really fine. You know that I'm not going to shut up until you tell me, right? I know you can hear me. Spill. Okay. I think why it's my soulmate. What? I said shh. Hey, there was a letter from your soulmate in the mail. Hand it over. Make sure you tell us what it says. Are you guys messing with me? No. What do you mean? All it says is fuck off and it's not even on a real piece of paper. I didn't do that. Maybe it was the only piece of paper he had. Ugh. My soulmate says my eyes shine as bright as diamonds. That is so beautiful. Mm. I cannot wait until I can reply to him. When it's my turn, my soulmate is not getting that nice of a letter. Hey, Barney, my favorite. That is not my name. Oh, I know. I just don't care. You must have been so sad this morning when you didn't get a letter. Actually, I did get a letter from my soulmate. Really? And what did that letter say? That I'm beautiful and he can't wait to meet me. Attention students, there's an emergency assembly in the cafeteria. What kind of emergency could there be? I just heard that someone's been faking everyone's soulmate letters. We share the same height, but I'm five foot three. Apparently me and my soulmate share the same toes. What does that even mean? Wow, and I thought mine was bad. I know, what's yours? They're my height. Well, that's not even that bad. Short people are so cute. It'll be easy to find them since I'm looking them right in the eyes. That's a good way to look at the bright side. You got any money for lunch, freak? Can you just put me down? Guys, stop. What are you doing? We're throwing them into a dumpster, <laughs> duh. This isn't a high school movie. That's so mean. Yeah, and what are you going to do about mm, it? Need I remind you that my dad is the principal? No, no you don't need to remind <laughs> us. Have a good day. Okay, bye. I am so sorry about them. Are you okay? Yeah, uh, I'm okay now. Thank you. Oh, you're... Short? Yeah, I know. Everybody makes fun of me for it. Please have at least $7 so I can go get a venti pink drink. Ugh. $4.20? Hmm. So I'm gonna starve and I can't get Starbucks. My soulmate has $3 million. Mine has $40 million. What about you, Bailey? Yeah, about the same. Does that mean you'll come shopping with us on Rodeo Drive later? Uh, I think I'm gonna save all of the money. Boo, you're no fun. You're gonna miss out. Oh, hey mom, what's up? I just transferred your allowance of $10,000 into the account. You have to take that money out right now. It's too late to take it out. It's already processing. Why? My soulmate's in charge of the bank account. Your soulmate can't spend $10,000 today. I really hope not. Whoa, Dylan, I love your fit today. Did you go shopping or something? Are you wearing a Louis Vuitton belt, necklace, and shoes? Yeah, my soulmate had a ton of money, so I went and spent, like, all of it. Hi, I'm ready for our date. Did you seriously bring the cat with you? Um, yeah, I can't leave her. I can't believe that's what you decided to wear. 
What do you mean? A sweatshirt? That's kind of lazy, don't you think? Excuse me? Bitch, I'm only here to get my dog back. Wait, you're not actually interested in me? No? What? Why not? I'm great. You're not that cute, to be honest. Hey, that's a little rude. I'm not rude, I'm just honest. I'm a Leo. Can you at least pretend to be excited? Fine, whatever. I love being on this date. Wow, you're a really bad actor. I don't even like you. Shut up, bro. Bartholomew, what are you doing here? I'm trying to save you. The dog he brought isn't even Waffles. What? He's the one who's been stealing everyone's pets. Give me my dog. This date is over. I'm not giving you your dog back. Waffles is mine now. What? Why not? Like he said, I've been taking people's pets from their soulmates and selling them. My dog's not even worth anything. She's from a shelter. No, but it's gonna make you mad. I gotta go now. See ya. What was that? That was him running away with my dog. Well, what are we supposed to do now? I don't know, but you better figure it out because this is slowly becoming my cat. Why do I need to figure it out? Because this is all your fault, Bartholomew. I'm going home. Wait, stop. What? I know that this is all my fault, and I regret doing it. I'm sorry, Bailey. Whatever. It's fine, okay? Let's just move on. Can I please just go home now? Not yet. I have an idea of how to get your dog back. Okay, well, what's your idea then? I have his address, and we're gonna go steal waffles. Steal? Bailey, please, wait up. Listen, I don't want to talk about this right now, okay? We have to talk about it eventually. Just go to class. Girl, what is going on with you and Matt? What do you mean? He was crying on his private snap. What? I'm on his private. No, he has a second one you're not on. It's a long story. I don't want to explain it, okay? I mean, okay. Bailey, please. Not again. Why are you avoiding me? Listen, I don't want to be your soulmate. What? Why not? Go bother someone else. Girl, you're done. You're done. Give me the tea. Fine. Both of our counters went up when we kissed someone else. Oh, wait, but doesn't that mean that Matt would be... Yep, yeah, he's my soulmate. And why is that a bad thing? Because I don't want him to be. He's so nice. He's my best friend. Nothing more. Don't friend zone him. He got over it pretty fast. What? Seems like he likes Macy. Everyone keep taking breaths. Get as much air as you can. I'm trying. Why are they going to limit our breaths anyway? This is stupid. We're running out of oxygen, so this was their solution, I guess. <sighs> Why aren't you taking any breaths? <sighs> I am. <sighs> they just sent them out. I got a million. What? How many did you get? I only got four. Close your mouth right now. Don't waste any of your air. You need to hold your breath for as long as you physically can today, okay? Do you not have any breaths? You look like a chipmunk. Wait, like none at all? You need to be careful. You're gonna die. Are you okay? You look a little pale. Are you sure? Because you don't look very good. Oh my god, are you okay? Oh no. Can someone give her more breaths? She only has two left. I can do it. I have a lot of them. Then do it. She needs them now. I just did. Thank you. Whoever distributes the breaths must really not like you. What? Hmm. Well, at least I got more today. Mom, I finally got a couple hours to hear. That's awesome. Who are you going to talk to you first? Um, I don't know. Hello, my beautiful soulmate. How are you doing? Listen, I don't really want to talk to you right now. What are you talking about? Why not? It's just a lot to take in, okay? I mean, my soulmate? I promise that I will never hurt you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you from the start. Can you please just leave me alone right now? There she is, the fucking liar. It's not like she can hear anything we're saying anyway. Her buns look so stupid. I bet she doesn't even listen to Nirvana. Listen, I'm sorry about them. They don't know what they're doing. You again? And how do you know that I can hear? I'm your soulmate. I can see exactly how much time you have. Oh. Um, I'm sorry. What are you talking about? I don't have any minutes left, but I can still hear your voice. Are you serious? Yeah. I thought you wouldn't be able to hear anyone. Everything else is silent to me. That's so weird. That's the end of class for today. 
We'll talk about this tomorrow, okay? Yeah, if you can hear me. Come on, it must have gotten more today. You've got to be kidding me. Mom, it happened again. Did you at least get a little more time? No, this time I have even less. We only got five minutes. I'm sorry, honey. I don't know why this is happening to you. Good morning. Can you still hear me? Good morning. I'll take that as a yes. Do you have more minutes? Nope. I can't believe her. Hey! Don't act innocent. Take this. You're obviously faking your minutes. What? I knew it. Who wouldn't have a crush on me? I'm perfect. How many crushes did you get, sweetheart? 101. I knew it. You're beautiful. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, whatever. Bailey, how many crushes do you have? I have 101. Cool. I have 115. What? Yeah, I have 115 crushes. I mean, of course, who wouldn't like you? <coughs> Catfish. Sorry, did you say something? Uh, I didn't say anything. I'll just go flirt with all the new kids this year, and then I'll definitely pass her. This is too easy. I've already gone up 10 crushes. Bailey, I just met the whole football team and my crushes went up by 30. Isn't that crazy? Good for you. And Jake finally asked me to be his girlfriend. It was so cute. You're having a great day, aren't you? Hey, Jake, this is my best friend, Bailey. Hey, nice to meet you. One person has a crush on me? Seriously? I guess that's better than none. Josh, why are you wearing sunglasses in school? You look goofy. Because the ladies love it. My crushes went up to 25. 25? I don't even think I know 25 people. I'm just hot. How many do you have? One. Oh, look at the time. I need to get to class right now. Bye. Okay, bye. Wow, you know he's lying to you, right? But no, he's not. Josh would never lie to me. There is no way. He's been chasing the same person for 10 years. What? He never told me that he had a crush on someone. Oh my god, because it's you, idiot! Um, I need to go catch back up with him. Gosh, wait! No, I can't! I'm gonna be late to class! When have you ever cared about being late to class? Ow! That's where you're going! I am so sorry. I didn't mean to trip you like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm Bailey. My name's Dylan, but why were you running just now? Watch me struggle to do split squats. Girl, why are you already falling over? You aren't holding any weight. Making sure that is correct. You are good girl, just send it. Why were the weights so far back? And she's falling over again, nice. Just start the set, please. This is mortifying. Why is your tongue out? I am running out of ideas. Okay, then stop. No, I told you. <clears throat> I'm fine. This man is a hoe. Haven't you kissed more people? Okay, yeah, but I only did it so that I could beat him. Then you're both hoes. No, that's not how it works. Actually, bitch, yes, that's how it works. <laughs> you cannot keep kissing people if you have COVID. You're gonna spread it. I'm not gonna get anyone sick. You are so dumb. That's not how it works. Mm. I can't stop because then he'll get ahead of me. It literally does not matter. Stop it. It matters to me. You have got to be a Leo. You know, I shouldn't be giving you ideas, but maybe you could kiss someone you hate. You know what? That's actually a good idea for once. Thank you. Hey, Carson. Wait, I thought you hated me. Yeah, I do. Okay, then what the fuck was that? D did you just call me pretty? Uh, no, no, you must have heard me wrong. Right? Yeah, no, no, no I didn't hear anything. Okay, good. How tall are you? Um, five ten and a half. Five ten and a half. Okay, so you're five nine. What? No, I'm not. I'm five ten. That's what they all say. You have no room to talk about my height when you're literally four eleven. I am five three. Thank you very much. My twelve year old sister is taller than you. Is today the day you smile? Absolutely not. No? Yeah, didn't think so. You strike me as a simp. Oh, I am not a simp. Oh, you're not? Really? Stop looking at me like that. I'm <laughs> not, I swear. If it makes you feel any better about your little accident, I do think you're kind of cute. Wait, are you serious? No, I was just kidding. You're actually really hideous. Dude, you are so annoying. Why did you have to get my hopes up like that? Morning! Fuck off, Bailey. Wow, I didn't think it was possible for your mood to be worse. I don't want to talk to you. Go away. 
What is your issue? I thought we were making progress. There is no issue. I just do not want to talk to you. Tell me what's wrong. No, not happening. Oh, come on, Tate. I'm your only friend. Doesn't matter. I'm not telling you. <laughs> We've been through this. You know I'm not going to stop until you tell me. Fine. I have feelings for someone. Okay, but why would that make you mad? Because I don't like having emotions. Well, who is it? I can't tell you that. Fine, fine. I won't bother you anymore about it. Wait, really? Yeah. You're not interested? No, I don't even want to know anymore. It's okay. Well, I couldn't tell you because it's you. What? I'm sorry. I know we're supposed to be just friends, but I, I don't know. Tate, I have news. What is it? The kiss has to be a true love's kiss. Bruh, what is this? A fairy tale? That is exactly what I said. How do we know if it's a true love's kiss? It has to be at the right moment. Like I told you, not to rush me. Don't yell at me. It's too late now. I am not yelling at you. You are so aggressive for a girl who's 5'3". You are so annoying. Class, I'm gonna have to switch the seating arrangement. Wait, you can't move our seats. I like sitting here. Bailey, it's fine. We'll still be in the same class. I'll talk to you later, okay? I won't be far. Bye. Hey, what's up? I'm Ryder. Hi, I'm Bailey. I have something to tell you about Tate. What? I don't even know you. No, but I know something about him. Okay, shoot. The reason he's never smiled before is because his dad is a killer. I'm sorry, what? His dad warned him to never smile. If you've ever wondered what it is like to be a girl in a male-dominated gym, well, I was trying to film this a man three times my age kept creepily staring at me and then asked me if I needed help filming. No, sir, I don't need your help. Never? How has he never smiled? I smile every day. I think Mark is my soulmate. Really? How do you know? He smiled at me in math class and my count went up. Oh, that's so cute. My soulmate has never smiled before. Like, at all? Not even once. That's so weird. Yeah, I know. Who never smiled? Plus, today we have a new student. You can go sit next to Bailey. Hi. Fuck off. I don't want to talk to you. Excuse you? I'm not interested in making friends. Well, that sucks, because I want to talk to you. I'm Bailey. That's a hideous name. What's your name? None of your business. I'm not going to stop bothering you until you tell me. Fine. It's Tate. Tate. Okay. You are so annoying. I think we're going to be good friends, as long as you get that stick out of your ass. Excuse you? No, but seriously, what are we doing? I don't know, but we have to stay away from the police. Yeah, we can't stay here forever. Why are you being bitchy? I'm not. We were having a moment. Why did you ruin it? The moment is over. Move on from it. You are so lucky that you're pretty. We need to get you away from the cops. I have something planned out to get rid of them. Why does that not surprise me at this point? Because you love me. Who's at the door again? I don't know. I'll go check. You stay here. Fine. <gasps> ah! What's with the scream? Why is there a girl at the door that looks exactly like you? Kate? What are you doing here? I had to come find you. Who is that? She's my sister. Not a twin? Nope, we just look the same. Bailey, you need to come home with me now. No, please. You don't have a choice. You can't run away. Um, what do you mean? I don't want to be friends with you anymore. What? Why? Oh, uh, because I, I just don't. Uh, give me one reason why you don't want to be my friend. Okay, um, your hair is ugly. Okay, now you're just insulting. Sorry, you wanted the truth. You know what? Whatever. It's fine. I don't want to be friends with you anyway. What is his problem? I wish I knew. I hate to say it, but I'm starting to think that you're right. It's about time. He's just acting so weird. And he wasn't like this before? No, only when this came out. Wait, ask his best friend. No, he's in love with me. I know, but you can use it to your advantage. He's literally gonna try to ask me out again. Take one for the team? Ugh, fine. Thanks. So, you need to go talk to him again. Why? I was right. He is fully in love with you. Okay, three, 
two, one. Oh, mine's a seven. What about you? Mine's a zero. Don't forget the you probably just don't know him yet. Yeah, you're right. I probably don't. Maybe you can find him mm -hmm. today. Boo. Ah, Jackson, why are you always here? Because I live next door, remember? Okay, then go back to your own house. Nah, I prefer the energy over Ugh. here. You can complain all you want, but I'll see you at school. I hope I don't see you there. Everyone, please choose a partner. Oh, Megan, do you want to be my lab partner? No, sorry, I'm going to work with Delaney already. Oh. Um, I don't have a partner. That's okay, you can work with Jackson. No, uh... Looks like you're stuck with me now. Yeah, unfortunately. You're blessed to be in my presence. Why can't you just be friends with me? No, I am never going to forgive you for what you did. It was five years ago, come on. We do the project and we never speak again. You can't avoid me forever. This cannot be happening. Uh -huh. Ah! That's real. Hey, I just forgot. Ah! Oh, sorry. What's with the scream? Uh, why are you back? I forgot my notebook. <sighs> okay. Is something wrong? No. Are you sore because you seem to- I'm good, I'm telling you, I'm good, I swear. Okay. Girl, I know you just lied to him, what's wrong? I think Nathan is my soulmate. Shouldn't you be excited then? Yeah, but he's my best friend. That's so weird. It's only weird if you make it weird. Do you even like him as more than a friend? I don't know. I've never really thought about it that hard. Could you see yourself with him? Maybe. There's no point. He doesn't like me anyway. And how do you know that? Because we're friends. So that's it? You're just gonna let him go like that? No, I'm not giving up. He's my soulmate. That's the spirit. That's what friends are supposed to do. But I'll always feel it for you. And I've got issues with everything and everyone. We need to talk. No, it's not your... I need to go find my best friend. Can you convince your brother not to hate me? I will try my best. Okay, thanks. Bestie. Hey, what's up? I have some tea. Do you want to hear it? Um, yes, always. Do you know that kid who's 7'3"? How could I not? I heard he has a crush on you. Oh, I'm not interested. He's not really my type. What do you mean he's not your type? He's so tall. Yeah, but it's like a little too tall. Didn't you just call your soulmate a walking skyscraper? No, I love men that are two feet taller than me. Right. Just forget it, okay? I don't want him. Wait, please. I'll pay you. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. How much are we talking here? A thousand dollars. Oh, absolutely. I'll do whatever. Yay! Oh, I'm gonna be dirt poor. This is so dumb. He's not my soulmate anyway. Mine's 5'9". Wait, what? Oh, uh, kinky. Hey, I'm going to work. Okay, but be careful of the killer that's on the loose. I'm gonna be fine. That's just a myth. Bailey, you're gonna be working in hardware today. You're putting me in the hardware department? I don't know anything about hardware. Just try your best. We're short-staffed. Fine. Hey, do you work here? Yes. How can I help you? I'm looking for the strongest rope you guys have. Big project? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Okay, um, follow me. It's over here. Oh, wow. This one's perfect. Do you also have hammers that I could buy? Yeah. Hammers? I need a really strong hammer, though, like a big one. You must really like construction, huh? Uh, yeah. And here's your receipt. Thanks, I'll see you around. Oh, fuck. Girl, I know you did not just do that. Well, now you only have one word left, so use it wisely, I guess. Oh my god, I got two million words, what about you? One. Well, she had three, but someone's incompetent. Are you serious? Oh, girl. Now Felix is really gonna torment you. He does that every year, even if she does have words. It doesn't matter. Hey, Blondie. Cat got your tongue? Aw, oh, you really can't speak. Boo-hoo. At least I won't have to hear your high-pitched-ass voice this year. Oh, come on, you love me. Um, Bailey, you're the only one without words. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. What are you gonna do? Someone just gave me words. 
That's great, but you just wasted five explaining that to us. Don't say anything else. That's so weird. I wonder who gave them to you. Well, how many do you have now? Two? Zero? Twenty? Well, don't waste any more, you dimwit. I didn't give her any words. Yeah, I didn't either. Felix? No, it definitely was not me. I did not do it, right? No, no. Now I want to know who did it. I guess it's a mystery because no one's confessing. You're more fun to talk to when you can't speak. Fuck off. <gasps> Bailey, stop wasting your words. Come on, I know you want to say something. Aww. Shut up. Oh shit, two more words down the drain. You're lucky anyone gave you words. They should have just let you be silent for the whole year. $20 to me or my mom. I don't really need it right now, so maybe she can use it. Hey, that bracelet is so cute. When did you get it? Oh, I used the $20 that I got this morning to go and buy it. What did you get? I gave my 20 to my mom, so nothing. That's cute or whatever, but I needed this bracelet. Do you see how cute it is? A new car? What? Well, if I give it to my mom, she'll probably just give me her old one, so... Dude, there is no way you gave that one to your mom, too. I'm gonna get a G-Wagon for my car. <sighs> Wait, why aren't you taking any of them for yourself? I don't know. I'm happy with what I have, so it's fine. Okay, you are insane if you give this one to your mom, too. Well, I'm probably still going to live with her anyway, so it's our house. You have fun with that? I'm going to go live in a mansion, okay? I just know you're going <laughs> to regret that. Ooh, I could get a mansion on the beach. Um, did you just get another one, too? Um, no, I only got the three questions before. I think I just got $10 million. Um, what? What do you mean? It just says plus $10 million. Dude, what? You are so lucky. You have to give me some of that. You can have some. I can't keep it all, but I have to tell my mom. Why do you give everything to your mom? You should keep it for yourself instead. Maybe I want to, okay? I love her. I want some of the money, too. Yeah, you better give me some for lunch. Me, too. Um, I have to go. Honey, I'm sorry, but there's leftovers in the fridge for dinner. I didn't have enough money for a new meal tonight. You don't need to worry about it anymore. Why? What are you talking about? Check the bank account. How many zeros is that? Ten million dollars? Where did you get all of this from? Thank you so much. This is going to change our lives. I love you. You guys need to give me all of the money right now. Whoa, hang on a second. You need to transfer all ten million dollars into my account by the end of the day or else. Oh, I just made so many POVs. I need a break. You know what sounds really good right now? A jazz bath. Parfois le vendredi soir, Amélie va au cinéma. I got a 93% for my looks. Oh, you don't deserve that. I'm giving you a five. But you need to lower your ego. You're not that good looking. Okay, jeez. Mom, Dad, can you guys rate me a little bit higher? Jenna just ruined it. Sorry, honey. Your sister's prettier. I agree. What? You looked better when you had a normal hair color. But I like my hair colored. You look like the purple Teletubby. Ew, I hate tattoos on girls. I give you a four. I have had enough of this. Hey, Bailey, do you think you could rate me as a 10? Yeah, of course. You're beautiful. Ah, thank you so much. You rated me a 4? I just gave you a 10. Okay, but I can't give you a 10 if you aren't one. Sorry. Your boyfriend cheated on you. No one's going to want to date me if I have a 46. <laughs> Whoa, who are you? You're the first 10 I've seen today. What? <laughs> thank you. Uh, why do you seem surprised? Oh, well, nobody else had given me a 10 yet. Really? Well, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Ah, that was a good one. You think so? Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. I'm Tate, by the way. I'm Bailey. It's nice to meet you. It really is. Bailey, you know, I think I changed my mind. I'm going to rate you as an 8 instead. What? Why? You just made fun of me. Oh, that? Oh, yeah, I was just kidding. Okay, thanks, I guess. What the fuck? You know, I was lying earlier. I really think tattoos on girls are hot. 
What is going on? Girl, what happened to your score? It was just at 40. Do you know what's happening? Yeah, do you know who that guy you were talking to is? Uh, I don't know, he was just like a random kid. I think there's something you don't know. What? Literally everyone has a crush on him. Why? He's like a super famous actor, girl. So, what are you gonna do? What do you mean? Like, how are you gonna tell him it's you? Girl, I'm not telling him. What if he's actually your soulmate? The chances of him actually being my soulmate are slim to none. Me and that dinglebat have nothing in common. Tell that to the empty can that hit your head. Whatever. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Whatever floats your boat. Finally, something sensible. Maybe he wants you to put it on so he can find you. No way. I'm not wearing it. Girl, why not? If it is him, I don't want him to know. So I'm going to put it in my pocket and pretend like I don't have it. The test is starting soon. No, no, no! Why are you yelling? I'm trying to study. I just sent my soulmate the wrong gift. Okay, and? I accidentally sent her the bracelet my sister gave me before she passed away. Yeah, you should probably find that. Don't you have that bracelet? Shh, keep her voice down. If it's the one you have, you need to give it back. Well, no, duh, but how do I give it back without revealing my identity? Have you started to gift him yet? No. Okay, you can just send it back to him as a gift then. You know what? You do have good ideas sometimes. Hey! Uh, sorry. Okay, I have it. You can't send it back first. Why not? He's gonna know you hurt him. Fine. I'll give him this scrunchie first. So am I just supposed to, like, throw it at him or... No! Oh, too late. Girl, you are so lucky that you have bad aim. Hey, uh, just send him the bracelet and don't throw it. Okay, my bad. <gasps> my soulmate sent me back the bracelet. That was easy. See, no harm done. She must have heard me say it. That means she goes to this school. Fuck, maybe some harm was done. Wow, <sighs> are you trying something new with your hair? No, what do you mean? Look at yourself. <gasps> what happened to my hair? Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. It looks like a bird's nest. Looks like you have some pink strands of hair now, too. Apparently. I guess it could have been worse. It could have been country. I fell in love with an emo girl. All I want is... Very funny. You know, you kind of look like Machine Gun mm -hmm. Kelly, too. Thanks. Why do you look like Hot Topic threw up on you? Guys, okay, it wasn't me. It was my soulmate. I don't want to dress like this. You know, maybe you should. It kind of suits you. Maybe your soulmate just has a crush on Avril Lavigne. That's fair. Me too. Or they might be like a super famous rock star. I really doubt that, but it would be super cool. Guys, is that who I think it is? Looks like your rock star isn't that far away after all. Haley, you have to help me pick what to wear. Where to what? Um, to meet my soulmate, duh. Wait, did you already get your date? Yeah, it showed up this morning. <sighs> You're so lucky. Mine's still loading. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll pick soon. Of course he will. Ugh, soulmates are so stupid. Whoa, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Everyone's talking about their soulmate. It makes me mad. Why? Because soulmates aren't even real. Yes, they are. You are so sad. And you're so ugly. I'll just make my meeting time in like 40 years. Don't do that. What if your soulmate wants to meet you? I really don't care what she thinks. <laughs> that poor girl. You are such an ass. She's probably annoying. Why are you making that face? You look like you saw a ghost. I did see a ghost. Okay, you're being weird. I'm leaving. Okay. You know he only did that because he wants you to be his soulmate, right? What? Please be single. Please be single. Taken. Uh, and it's not by me. Rude. I'm so glad my soulmate is single. Me too. What about you, Bailey? Yeah, mine's taken, guys. Oh, it's fine. That's just like an obstacle on the road. Marie, I am not a homewrecker. No. Suit yourself. You'll have to find him eventually. It's not even that big of a deal. I have no idea who he is. It could be literally anyone. Yeah, just start asking all the couples in school. Guys, big news. I have a boyfriend. Is he your soulmate? No, we decided we didn't like this system, so we're dating anyway. Look, he's right over there. Oh my god, girl, he's hot. Yeah, I mean, he's cute or whatever. What's with the face? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. 
He said his soulmate was single, so it could be me. Yeah, it could definitely be you. You're right. Um, what? Why do you look so anxious? I'm not anxious. I'm doing perfectly fine. Whatever. Do you guys want to meet him? Meet him? Yeah, yeah. Let's meet him. Um, quick question. How do you know if someone's your soulmate? It'll say soulmate found, but only girls can see it. Why can only the girls see it? I don't know. That's just how it works. Oh, look, he's coming over here now. Great. Hey, babe. Hey, guys, I'm Marshall. Hi. Why do you look like you have to shit? I'm so glad we started dating. My soulmate's probably ugly anyway. Who cares? She's definitely not ugly. How would you know that? I wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't. I don't, I don't know. Don't you think it's going to, like, mess something up if you're with someone who's not your soulmate? Who cares? Love is love, and we want to be together. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I get it. I'm just glad my soulmate's not taken, because then you have to break up a relationship. What? Today we're going to be doing my whole makeup routine backwards. Once again, I had to write it out because I'm down to one brain cell. Starting off with setting spray. Why am I so greasy? Eyeliner. I'm going to try my best to make this actually good. We're putting our eyeshadow right over top of the wings. This is where it gets bad. We're doing highlight. I'm going to use this as like a primer to make it super dewy. I look like a disco ball. Powder blush. I'm going to put a lot so I'm blushing from within, right? Bronzer. This is all just going to get covered up by foundation. I feel bonita. We're doing setting powder even though we have nothing to set. Someone just asked me to hang out and I think I'm gonna have to say no. Why is all of my makeup broken? Are you kidding me? That is not blending over all the powder. Now we contour. <laughs> I look like I got ran over. I really need this concealer to help me out. Foundation's just gonna erase everything. I'm gonna try to do this very lightly. Fix up these eyebrows. The final step is primer. I forgot to do my lips entirely. This is our final look doing my makeup routine totally backwards. I look like I dipped my face in oil, but let me know what challenge I should do next. Shit. Hey sis, don't snitch on me, but I had a boy over last night and now I have to sneak him out before mom sees. Whore. I get it, but you're not gonna tell her, right? Okay, good. Actually, you can't sit there today. My new friend's taking your spot. Bitch. Whatever, go sit by the trash or something. I like her more. Ho. Oh, don't worry, Bailey. I'll come sit with you instead. So, uh, how has your day been so far? I have to ask. Melanie said you had a crush on me. Uh, is that true? Wait, really? I was just wondering if you wanted to go on a date. Are you gonna say anything, or... Fuck. <laughs> Bailey, since you love talking so much, why don't you read this page aloud for the rest of the class? Oh, come on. Don't be shy. It's only one page of the book. Page 61, go ahead. Fuck shit, bitch, fuck whore, ho. One of you requested that I try on all my skirts, and I'm up for a challenge, so let's do it. The one I'm wearing, a two-piece set, but it's from Generation Outcast. Or this one is from White Fox, it's so pretty. This one is again from Generation Outcast. This one is from White Fox, sorry it's so wrinkled. This is from White Fox again. Still White Fox. Princess Polly, sorry, missed one, this is from White Fox. Princess Polly, Princess Polly, Urban, also Urban, Princess Polly, Princess Polly again. <laughs> now we have some oddballs. This is from Windsor. Garage, Fashion Nova, Forever 21, Lucy in the Sky, Juniper Blue. This is from Goldhinge, and I think that was all of them. Um, I have a shopping addiction. Thank you. <laughs> So me and Carter are at the largest gas station in California, and somehow I lost him. I don't know how. He's 6'2". There is so much going on. Oh, my God. Hello. Excuse me. Hi. Rawr. Rawr. Hi. <gasps> I want him. There's two ice cream straws for us. Come here. If you couldn't tell by my POVs, my favorite movie genres are comedy and drama had been looking for a new show to watch and i found this on amazon prime it's called mammals i just watched the first episode and i'm gonna watch the rest today it tricks you because you think it's gonna be a really cute romantic trip then they hit you with the drama and all these secrets are coming out as i kept watching i was just going <gasps> if you are always looking for new and entertaining shows like me i 10 out of 10 recommend that you go stream this on amazon prime weekend one of coachella is sadly over so i'm gonna rate all the outfits that i wore this year Okay, this was my day one outfit. I'm obsessed with it. It's giving 2000s Avril Lavigne. The only thing I would have changed about this is I wish the short was like ever so slightly shorter. But the Converse were a smart pick because last year I wore heels and I learned my damn lesson. I'm going to give this one like a 7 out of 10.
Day two, oh. I was dying over this and everyone else was also dying over this. It's giving bitch on the back of the motorcycle that you could never stop thinking about when you see her. This is a 10 out of 10. I would have not changed anything about this look at all. It was perfect. This is day three and it was really, really cute, but so impractical. I had to fully tape the top to my body because it would not stay where it was supposed to be. The skirt was also falling. You can see my underwear in this pic. But regardless, it was iconic. I'm gonna give this one like a nine out of 10. The fringe gloves, oh. I'm so sad that Coachella is over, but I'm also glad that I had a redemption arc from whatever my outfits were last year. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be testing my compatibility with the different signs on Futurio. Let's go. Okay, but before I start, look at how cool this app is. It literally gives you a daily horoscope prediction, daily affirmation, moon calendar, and you can add your family members. So I'm starting with a cancer because my ex was a cancer and I'm a Leo and we just did not get along and you can tell that by the 30% rate and let me show you more. Yeah, I can see why we didn't get along with a 30% in all the categories, but Futurio also gives you an explanation as to why it's 30% in every category. Next is me in a Capricorn, which is even worse than the first one, which no wonder this thing ended too. There's a big risk that someone will end up with a broken heart. Yeah, that definitely happened on my end. We're getting better here. I've never talked to an Aries, but if you're an Aries, hit me up because we seem kind of compatible. Mm. If you love astrology as much as I do, I seriously recommend this app. You can download it with a link in my bio and it is on the app store to search Futurio. It's amazing. In a couple of my videos, you guys noticed that I have many, many ear piercings. So we're gonna do a little piercing tour and I'm gonna rate which ones hurt and which ones did not. On this side, I have four lobe piercings. Also, all of these earrings are from Binky Bell. She's amazing, I love her. The lobes are very easy to get and they heal really quickly. So like five out of 10, they're okay. On this side, I also have four lobes and then I went a little crazy. This snake in the middle is called a conch. For me, the conch was painful to get and it's extremely painful to heal. Probably an eight on the pain scale. This one up here is called a rook. It looks so cool, but the rook was also very painful to heal. It gave me headaches and at points I was nauseous. Still gonna go with eight out of 10. Lastly on this ear, I have a cartilage flat. Anything with cartilage is a little bit uncomfortable to heal, but that one was not that bad, probably a five. Now it's time for the only piercing that's not on my ears. Surprise, I have a belly button ring. This honestly didn't hurt at all, but it was a little bit annoying to heal. I'll give it a six out of 10. I think I wanna get a helix next. Let me know if I should do it. I know, I know, y'all wanna know how the date went. <laughs> First of all, I chose outfit number one. I thought it was the most flattering, so. He lives 30 minutes away. I thought we were just gonna meet the gym and he texts me and he's like, I'm picking you up, right? And I'm like, okay. So he drove 30 minutes out here to come get me. When he gets here, he gets out of his car, opens the door for me and I'm like, mm, chivalry is not dead. We drive there and there's no free guest passes, which I didn't even know because I'm new to this gym, but he pays the $20 to work out with me when he literally has a home gym. He was like watching me the whole time, like encouraging me, like your deadlift form is so good. Like you got it. Like, ah. And then we go to Wegmans to get food and he walks over to the fruit section with me and I'm just like, what a man, wow. We both get fruit and go to the checkout line. I have my wallet in hand. I'm like standing in front of the thing. Doesn't let me pay for it. Like steps in front of me, just inserts the card and I'm like, okay. Um. <laughs> then we just talk for a while and he is so cute. If I play, do I get one of those cool t-shirts? <laughs> yes. Really? Everyone gets a t-shirt. We make them ourselves. And if you... You're being sarcastic. You're being I just made this top literally out of the bottom of the t-shirt and I need to show you how to do it. Amazing. I'm gonna show you with this plain gray t-shirt because I never wear it. Get your t-shirt, lay it flat so the hem at the bottom is aligned. Now we're gonna cut it straight across, like four inches below the armpit. It don't gotta be precise, just cut it. Just cut it. So now we're working with the bottom half of this t-shirt. Discard the other half, she's irrelevant. Cut just the bottom hem part off. Like where it's sewn, cut it off. Just the bottom. <laughs> so now you have like a string, right? Cut it, just cut it. It's in Now I'm gonna show you how to put it on. Take this part, wrap it around your back. Like open the two sides of the fabric and stick the string one through both sides. With the do it to both. Now it's like this. You're gonna cross it, tie it. I'm wearing both of them at once, but this is what it will look like. Ignore my laundry. Cute. Okay, remember yesterday I was talking about the man who was so attractive, literally exactly my type. He's gorgeous. Um, not only is he gorgeous, he is also so nice. I mean, at least from what I can tell, instead of being like, you're so hot, like the body, he's just like, you're gorgeous, like what the fuck? And I'm like, Ugh. and 
he wanted to hang out right i commented this in the video yesterday i was like he wants to go to the gym with me uh we share the same interests amazing marry me um not only does he want to hang out he wanted to hang out today he was like what are you doing tomorrow and i was like nothing i'm free schedule wide open and he was like okay let's go to the gym then and i was like okay bet like let's freaking go i can bring a guest into my gym and then he was like what are we doing after the gym and i was like getting married the fuck like after the gym like not only does he want to go to the gym with me he wants to do it something after oh, he is so attractive like i'm obviously gonna keep you guys posted but i need to find the literal best gym outfit ever i need my ass to look voluptuous and fat seven and i go in with the dior one two three so i cannot keep living until i find out what happens if i put that much foundation on my face i have on my headband exactly how she has it and a paper towel roll on standby she used seven pumps one two three four five six seven one two three oh <laughs> i feel like i'm creating a potion we're gonna waste no more time and start lathering this on my face <laughs> now we just rub it in all casually i can't do my eyes because i have eyelash extensions i look like the peanut butter baby <laughs> it's burning mom look i did my makeup the beauty blender is supposed to be the most important part so i'm hoping it'll save this okay why does this not look bad look at this on my skin we gotta finish the full face so go to part two hi i'm bailey and this is part two about the national eating disorder association I want to preface this by saying there is a great difference between disordered eating and actual eating disorders, so please do not diagnose yourself with an eating disorder unless you have been to a certified health professional. There are a few signs that someone around you is struggling with an eating disorder, and I'm going to share a few of them with you. One of these would be constant weight checking. If you notice a friend is constantly worrying about how much they weigh or squeezing and pointing out parts of their body that they are not fond of, please, please talk to them and make sure that they are okay. People with eating disorders will constantly be checking their weight and measurements to see if any progress has been made. And the progress that they see encourages them to keep going. It's really hard to understand what is going on in someone else's mind unless you've been there before. Another sign someone around you might be struggling is meal avoidance. People who are struggling will purposely go out of their way to avoid social functions that might include eating. I'm out of time again, so part three. Okay, and so what if I'm a rectangle? You couldn't tell me if I was a circle, square, rhombus, triangle, rectangle, octagon. It doesn't matter. Stop body shaming. I've been picked on three times today. Oh, because of my trousers. What's wrong with your trousers? Look at the fucking size of them. Okay, you guys wanted my workout routine, so here it is. I do not know what I am doing. Um, these are squat side-to-sides for glute activation. I don't know if that's what you call them. Then we have, I like to call these um, kick them in the head. You just, you know, you get really strong and you can boot them. It's good for your butt. And then I saw someone doing these on my For You page. Oh my god, my little tummy roll. I love her. Anyway, um, open and close your legs because, you know. Um, and we're doing squat, RDL, straight leg things. I'm really bad at explaining. I am so sorry. But this is like 55-pound weight. It's painful. Then we have these motherfuckers. This makes me want to literally run myself over with a bus and then jump off a cliff. But they're good for your butt, I guess. Um, and then we're doing squats. This was my warm-up round. I had 10 pounds on each side. I know I'm holding the bar wrong. You don't got to tell me. I already know. And then I moved to the 25. No, I moved to 35. But then I failed 35, which is the video yesterday. But now I'm doing 25. Yep, she's contemplating. Come on. Come on, girl. Go. Oh, there she goes. All right. Next, I did uh, some hip thrusts. I'm only using a 25-pound plate this day because my quads were killing me, but I usually use 45 pounds. These are great for your butt. Then we did some leg press. I can casually do 225 pounds on leg press. I don't know where that came from, but uh, yeah, that's what I do. Hey, bitches, get dressed with me for Coachella Day 3. I have this insane crochet fit today, and I'm so excited to wear it. First up is this skirt, and I honestly can't figure out which way is the top and which way is the bottom. Honestly, I am not sure that I put this on the right way, but it is so cute. This thing is supposed to go over your shoulders, but I'm going to put it around my waist like a belt. I think that this is correct. I'm not sure, but now we have this crazy crochet bra. Maggie is tying this for me because there's a lot of moving parts, and I'm struggling. Next up, I am putting on a leg garter. Time to put on some necklaces. I don't even know what's in here. I love gloves, so I have another pair that has fringe. 
this time. Here is the final fit for Coachella day three. This is so impractical, but it looks so good, so I'm okay with it. No crumbs. No crumbs, bitch. <laughs> Coachella! Did you eat my leftovers? And that's why you're dead built like a baked bean. A baked bean? That's so mean. What's wrong with you? Because I've seen horses with better hair than you. You know I'm insecure about my hair. Why would you say that? Class, stop talking, you ungrateful little shits. I can see why your wife left you. Excuse me? Go to the principal's office now. So you've been saying inappropriate things to your peers and teachers. I could smell your B.O. from Canada. What? I showered this morning. You need to stop bullying everyone. Is your hair real? Because it looks like a wig. How could you tell it was a wig. If you say one more thing, I'm gonna suspend you. Have you slept? Because you look really tired. That's it. You're suspended for a month. Now what do you have to say for yourself? Are you married? Because if so, I feel really bad for her. You have a lot of nerve talking to me like that. If you googled the word ugly, there would be a photo of you right next to it. That's it. I'm expelling you instead. Do you like my outfit today? I'm unsure about it. No. Okay, harsh. Do you think a different top would make it better? No. Why are you nodding but saying no? What if I added on a coat to this outfit? No! Damn, do you like anything? Do you have a pencil I could borrow? No. Oh, okay. Well, did you do the homework? No. Shit, I was gonna copy you. Could you answer number four for the class, Bailey? No. Uh, okay. No. But I didn't even ask you anything. Dude, I just found out that your crush likes you back. No. What do you mean, no? I've been hearing rumors that he's gonna come over and ask you to homecoming today. No. I thought you liked him. No. Someone has to warn him. That's so embarrassing. Will you go to homecoming with me? No. $100 now or double it. I'm going to take it. I can get so many pumpkin spice lattes with that. But then someone else could get $200 and they might need it more. And I need my pumpkin spice. Whatever. I'm going to double it. Three Lamborghinis. I'm out of the game, but you should take it. What would I even do with three cars? I don't have a license. You could sell them. Driving scares me anyway. Dude, I'm in so much trouble. What? Why? I got 10 houses and accidentally burnt one down. You burnt a house down? Well, yeah, but it was only one out of the 10, so... This is why we can't have nice things. Eight private jets? That's not fair. I want eight private jets. Where would I go? The only place I walk to is the fridge. You could go anywhere, duh. I just don't want to take it away from someone who might want it or need it more than I do. Okay, whatever, goody two-shoes. I'm gonna turn one of my 10 houses into a water park. Hello, Earth to Bailey, I was asking if I should put a lazy river in. What, what does it say? One billion dollars. Six, I swear, if you make the bathroom smell that bad again. Okay, sorry, I won't. Everyone can't see me or everyone can't hear me. I feel like I could use being invisible for a day. I am so glad Bailey's not here today. I genuinely hate her. Me too, she's so annoying. Fake ass bitch. Why is there a dick on your face? What? What do you mean? Class, settle down and get that off of your face. Ass hat. Hey, who said that? Mary. Huh? What? The answer is 76. Where is that voice coming from? I'm a genie and I'm gonna get you 100% on this test. Really? Thank you so much. Do people still feel if I hit them? Ow, what the fuck? Quiet, we're testing. Marissa, why did you answer in the shape of a Christmas tree? Because the magic genie told me to do it this way. <laughs> wow, okay, how about we take you to get some help? Could have sworn that I was walking into a Starbucks. Hi, welcome to heaven. Is that like a new coffee shop? No, you died and you're in heaven now. Okay, where are the cameras? I'm being pranked, right? It's not a prank. You dropped your phone going into Starbucks and then an elderly woman ran you over. That's a tragic way to die. Maybe you should get off your phone. This isn't heaven just yet. You have to have enough good points to go. Otherwise, you go to the bad place. I don't want to go there. Then you have to go back to Earth to make amends with those you've hurt. Okay, fine. I'll go back to Earth to right my wrongs. The first person you must see is Lacey. Oh my god, no, I hate her. You have to apologize. Fine. Hey, Lacey. Ah! But you just died. I've come back to make amends with you. I'm sorry, it was wrong of me to give you food poisoning so that I could have the lead in the school play. You did that? That's not why I hate you. What? You let my pet bird fly away. Oh yeah, I'm sorry for that too. No, you're not. You know what? I don't forgive you. What? You failed and have two more chances. Would you like to take them? Okay, yes, I'll take them. Hi, I think that you're my mom. <laughs> no shot, kid. You're talking to the wrong girl. But I was just assigned to you by the soulmate system. You were what? I have to follow you everywhere you go. I'm not allowed to leave until you find your soulmate. I have to have a 10-year-old following me around all the time. I'm 13, thank you very much. Oh, my bad. At least I'm not a grandma like you. Can I have a sip of that? No. Why not? You're being mean to me. I didn't sign up for this. Neither did I. You suck. What do 13-year-olds do? Do I have to buy you, like, Legos or something? No, I just want to scroll on TikTok. We have to go. Can you drive? 
No, I'm 13. Oh, I'm right, sorry. Jessica, why do you have a newborn baby? This is what the soulmate system gave me. Bet you like me now, huh? I have no idea who my soulmate could be, and I don't want to be stuck with this forever. This? Excuse me. Your soulmate has a kid the same age, so go where they'll hang out. I don't know where kids hang out. The mall! No, I hate the mall. Too bad, we're going.